Another body was exhumed today from Oaklawn Cemetery in Tulsa, where they are searching for possible victims of the race massacre. News on 6's Emery Bryan is live with the latest on the excavation. Emery? Well, Craig and Lori, a big focus today was on what was described yesterday as a large crate in the ground, something larger than a traditional casket. Today, that grave was examined more closely. The search at Oaklawn continues to create questions even as it clears up the uncertainty of what's beneath this corner of the cemetery. The team has parts of three rows dug out running north and south with 50 grave shafts discovered and some now uncovered underneath a row of tents along 11th Street. This is where black people without much money were buried. We know uh, by it based on the work that we've been conducting out here that there are many more graves out here than what we actually have good records to to document today the fourth grave was exhumed the body and basic casket lifted out of the ground wrapped in a tarp and draped in a Tulsa flag each time the team recovers another body they pause for a few moments of reflection without knowing for sure if the exhumed body is or is not a victim of the massacre Regardless, the handling is the same. A march across Oaklawn, past the marked graves of more affluent people, to the on-site forensic lab where the body will be examined. The team determined what yesterday seemed like a large crate was not. We now know that that actually um, was a hole that was of sufficient size to accommodate both an adult and a child-sized coffin that were placed in that hole. Um, it was not a large crate. The on-site work at Oaklawn is expected to take another full week, and the team has not said how many more exhumations they plan to do. Reporting live downtown, Emory Bryan, Oklahoma's own News on 6.